So I want to talk to you guys about why we don't do birthday parties for snow. And the reason is I did get some fall seeds because I'm going to be doing a fall plant with me video, but also a gardening 101 video for anybody that wants to start gardening. I'm just gonna kind of do teaching you guys like what I know and hopes to help you guys and inspire you guys to start a garden. I know I've gotten a lot of requests for that. So I got some vegetable seeds for planting in fall winter and then also herbs like medicinal herbs to plant. And then I also got an indoor planter. This is like a dupe of like the really expensive ones so that I can test this out for you guys. I mean, I don't really need to test it out. A bunch of other people already did and there's really good reviews. So basically just showing you guys other options. And then I also got another dupe just for different budgets and price ranges so that you guys can see what it looks like and then also be able to grow inside if you don't have a backyard or a yard at all. Maybe you just have a balcony, which I'm going to teach you guys what to grow on your balcony and how to do that, everything you need to get started, all the things that you need to know to start your garden. And then also for people that want to just grow inside because they don't want to get their hands dirty, but they do want to have like fresh veggies um, and herbs and lettuces. And I can show you guys how to grow basically everything indoors. So yeah, there's a little secret to certain things that need to be pollinated. You just hand pollinate. So I will be sharing that in a future video. So if you're not subscribed, turn your notifications on. So excited for this video, you guys have been working really hard on planning it out and making it like the very best I can for you. And also just like the, as much education as I can in one video, be able to help as many people with as many different situations, like living conditions and situations. So yeah, excited for you guys to see that. I guess that's all that came for her birthday today. So I think this is most of it. Wait, is this everything? I feel like there's something missing might be everything so just open this up for funsies it's a halloween decoration i need to check my amazon account and see what else i ordered for her birthday i just want to make sure it all comes here because i'm really concerned with like the oh no oh gosh i really hope this is so i ordered bats to go on the walls i don't know if you guys have seen those pictures of how cute that looks it's like the easy decor but it makes such like a big impact and then i got the floating hats witch hats and then the little can the floating candles but these look like really tiny i hope that they open up more or are they just like really small little witch hats oh, oh my gosh that was actually really scary <laughs> actually scared me i was not expecting that never mind they are full-size witch hats okay i'm like wow that was kind of dangerous look it like literally marked my hand from hitting it so hard when it opened gnarly all right well if you get these they have good reviews but be careful when you open them it like actually hurts look at that if you guys can see like i made a mark already in my hand <laughs> All right, so here's the fishing line. It comes to hang it up, and that is gonna be so cute. The kids are gonna love this, and I can't wait to get the little lights. I really wish that I had all my Halloween stuff here because I really wanna make it fun and special for the kids, but it's okay. It's all gonna work out. Anyway, okay, well, just wanted to share a little unboxing of her birthday party, and now we'll go into talking about what we plan to do for her birthday and how we plan to celebrate it in a way that's going to make her really happy and actually enjoy her day. Because if you guys don't know, well, I'll tell you guys here in a second. Okay, whoops, I forgot to show you guys her gift. So I will open that up and unbox it with you, but I really quickly just wanted to give you guys a little tip in case you want it. Save the packaging from your boxes so that you're able to wrap the gifts and get some free gift wrapping. This will totally fit this. So I'll have free gift wrapping and you can use it for Christmas. So definitely start saving these up. And then if you put, I'll show you actually really quick give you an idea of like how cute this can be. Don't mind my, my messy pantry. Let's see where, got my loofah leaves and loofah sponges. Oh, right here. So you can see that I save all my packaging and reuse stuff like in brown paper bags, but, and I'm gonna make ornaments out of these clothes that the kids grew out of. This, like if you get some sort of like string, like this looks so cute around for like Christmas holidays and you can like pair it with a bow or even something like this and Hanukkah if you are celebrating 
Hanukkah like gifts. You could do blue ribbon. So lots of fun ideas or save tissue paper from wrapping. This is from the skincare I get and they have really beautiful tissue paper. So I save that for wrapping and also just for crafts and stuff. So anyway, that is my little tip for being eco-friendly and saving money also. All right, let's go ahead and, oh, this is the instructions for the the witch hat all right open it up some things look so cute online but then like you get them in person and they're not cute at all so i just want to make sure that this is up to par for my little girl i also really want to kind of instill in her from like a young age to be very grateful for everything and our kids are spoiled as it is i'll admit it but you know they get toys from the thrift store and then when they get a new toy they have to donate one back to the thrift store so you know just teaching them not to take for granted things that not everybody is able to have and afford and i want them to know like how lucky they are and how grateful they should be so I'm trying to teach that oh this is so cute she's gonna love this all right so this little art set but it comes with like a little notepad comes with some really cute washi tape which snow's gonna love washi tape um, i should probably get her some more of that one of these days some little stamps all unicorn themed this might be a little eraser little notepad she's gonna love this this is gonna like keep her entertained for hours oh my gosh how cute you guys i remember these when i was a little girl this is adorable oh my gosh this is way better than i expected i'm pretty sure this is like the eraser but do you remember back in the day the little pencils that when it's done you like take it out and like a new one comes and there's like a bunch of them in there this is so cute and it's like reusable i didn't even realize how eco-friendly this was when i bought it but man that just really made me so happy okay so oh my gosh there's a second one in here this i think is like a pen maybe yep so a pen and a pencil adorable and let's see you could take this top off and then she can like you know reuse this and oh my gosh so cute this is like a little envelope oh they're all different envelopes to send these are really cute oh my gosh i want these for myself okay this is adorable wow everybody needs to go get one of these for their kids how cute is this and then there's little cards for her to like write to friends and family oh my gosh so this is for these are the envelopes for the little cards and then she's gonna love this and then i'm assuming are there more bigger ones oh here we go so then like the this is for like the bigger ones for her to write like long letters this is so cute she is gonna absolutely love this and then it even comes with a sticker set all these stickers super cute and this is her little magical writing set i'm very happy with this gift i think she's gonna love it and can like take it with her so cute just show you guys how i package things back up really quickly I so just put it back in the box after I like inspect it for quality control and make sure it looks good. If you guys are getting gifts for people, I recommend you do that too. Cause a lot of times if you order from Amazon, sometimes I've heard stories of them sending like, used stuff accidentally or things were missing, you know, like parts or pieces or I don't know. That would be really embarrassing to have like get a gift for someone. They open it up and it's like used, you know? So, and I will just wrap it up. And then my last little eco-friendly tip is the packaging like this you can reuse to send mail to somebody else or packages to someone else but you can also use this to wrap a package also so that in mind you guys can like reuse stuff eco-friendly and saves money always open all right now i'm just putting this in here the birthday stuff so if she doesn't see it i'm going to just close this up and put it somewhere until her birthday and just to be on the safe side so that doesn't accidentally get thrown away, I'm gonna write on it. We'll just put a little please in there so it doesn't look so aggressive. All right, there we go. All right, because you can see all the stuff I'm like, ah! like hiding from the kids up in the closet, like this stuff, they literally made such a mess with this stuff. It's that putty. I love the putty, but man, kids like destroy stuff. All right, this here. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna put the Halloween stuff away and then we're gonna sit down. I'm gonna chat to you guys about why snow 
is gonna have a special birthday as opposed to the birthdays you guys are probably used to seeing or know about. Mainly just for like awareness and education purposes. So yeah, that is the main reason. I kinda wanna open these up really quick. I'm gonna put the Halloween decorations aside because I'm gonna do a decorate with me for Halloween video, but I wanna do that with the kids. So actually I know the kids are gonna take these hats and wanna wear them and play with them, which is fine. I just don't want them to break them. So I'm probably gonna put the Halloween decorations in here also. It's my little hiding spot from the kids, at least for now, probably won't last long. They come in here all the time. I need to put a lock on this door in fact i told travis to grab it because we have you know just stuff i don't want them to get to in here also have any of you guys read this book i am only i started reading it it was actually pretty good it was kind of slow at the beginning but i started reading it in the plane and then i'm on chapter 20 so kind of a little bit halfway through but i haven't had time to read any more in like a while and so I'm curious if anyone else has read that it's my first ever book that is a fiction book that i'm reading so uh yeah fun fact all right i'm gonna open these really quick and then we'll sit down and talk so when it comes to like filming and creative stuff i thrive on anything like that which is why like you know i love what i do and have been doing it for so long and there's always things that i want to do to like make my videos better and i had like a really good flow going for a while when i was filming every day because i had like a setup for my sit down videos and like i had a good camera and everything was like dialed in and we had like really cool backlighting and uplighting and just like all the things but all of that stuff since we moved has been in storage and so i haven't had all my like equipment that i want to be able to use and anyway get to the point these lights are going to be a game changer and i am so excited because not only can i use these in my videos like the my sit down videos that I want to like make really fun, but also I can use them outside. You can use them for holidays. So you can use them for a lot of different things. So like for Halloween, you can make purple lights and I don't know, maybe you want to put one behind that tree yet. And then like maybe over in that area, lighting just makes the biggest difference in a space, not just for filming, just like in general. And so I think these are awesome. I'll link them. They have like amazing reviews and I'm just super excited to have gotten these they weren't like a bad price either so super stoked and again i like to check everything this is just like a tip if you don't already do this when you order stuff at the online or even at the store bring it home inspect it take it out of the box out of the packaging plug it in make sure it works make sure there's nothing missing or damaged because if you wait too long you could possibly not be able to like exchange it or return it because there's only a certain time period for you to do that so anyway just want to share that little tip all right let's finally sit down and let's chat i wanted to show you guys how i organize stuff so this is just like the instructions and you know whatever so instead of keeping the box which is like really bulky i'm just going to already test it out the lights and then i will store the extra remotes in here because thankfully one remote will work for all of them so i'll just keep one out and then have this here and then i can put that like in my filming closet so satisfying taking those off and there we go here is an example of those little floodlights and the difference it makes i think actually <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I think it's great for Snow's birthday. We can use it also and have it like pink or something. I was trying to like figure out, it's brand new, so I'm trying to figure it out. There's a battery in here. I took the release plastic thing out and apparently I don't know how to use this and I haven't read the instructions, but you can change the colors. You can make it not as bright or brighter you can create special ones so like halloween christmas birthdays you know whatever however you want to do it and then yeah lots of options to be able to have it on for three hours or 12 hours so really cool again i'll link all this down below all right so this is what it looks like for green so green and then there's so many colors you can do let's see what pink looks like okay that's probably better it's just you have to play around with it because that looks like more purple to me but cool 
I'm excited for our little background fun lights. Okay, figured we'd do it right here. It's not so cool. I love those floodlights and it comes in a four pack. Don't forget to stay hydrated. So I wanna to talk to you guys about why we don't do birthday parties for snow. And the reason is, you guys know, she is neurodivergent. And in the past, her one year old birthday party, she seemed to be totally fine, no issues. Because we had quite a few people there, even though it wasn't like a big, expensive, extravagant birthday. It was really just like our close family. And I think it was mainly just family and like really close family friends. And then after that, like her second and third, her second birthday, we didn't have a big party. We just did mellow things with just like our family to celebrate it. And then on her fourth birthday, that's when she was like getting older. And I thought, okay, she's older now. Let's do something special for her. And we will you know, have a little birthday party for her. And I was really excited to do this because it was like my, I really wanted to do that for her, you know, like as a mom. And we happened to be traveling and we were at my older sister's house visiting because she was like, oh, like, let's just have her birthday here and she'll be able to be with all her cousins. So I was like, okay, that sounds good. So it was literally just like my dad was there. He had flown in. It was me, Trav, um, Storm, or wait, no, Storm, was Storm there? Gosh, I can't even remember. I don't know if Storm was born for, no, yeah, he must have been born. Okay. Well, anyway, that's besides the point. So she was four years old. It was just like the cousins. So she has four cousins at my sister's house. I mean, just got more than that. And then it was just like my sister and you know, it was just like our family and the cousins. So it wasn't a big thing, but we did like decorate and you know, had presents and wanted to sing her happy birthday. And she wanted to like get dressed up and uh, she had this really cute outfit on. And I'm gonna show you guys the video here because for those of you guys that didn't see it, you might not really understand. It's hard to understand if like you don't have kids that are different and have special needs. And so I want to be able to show you guys what it looks like because you know, some people are like, oh, you're depriving your kids. Like you're, you know, people are always gonna say mean stuff like, online that don't like you or have an opinion about something, which is fine. And I, I don't, that doesn't bother me. I think the biggest thing that like I wanna do is just raise awareness about people with special needs because especially kids with special needs, because I feel like they need to be protected and like at all costs. They are sensitive little souls. And as her mama, I feel like it is my job and my duty to raise awareness and just educate people so that she has a more loving community and more of like a welcoming, you know, and more of an understanding of like why she is the way she is so that she can be protected so that all of you guys can protect them. We all know like people that are on the autism spectrum, a lot of people only associate autism with people that have more needs. And that's why they call it a spectrum because it's a wide spectrum, right? There's some that need a lot more needs and then there's some in the middle that have needs but maybe are not as many as someone else and then some people that have it and you can't even tell. And it's something that I think a lot of people, they say like, oh, I had no idea or I can't tell that she's on the spectrum. And I think that they say it because like one, they don't know how to react or what to say it can be uncomfortable but also maybe because like they are trying to like give a compliment to you i don't really know but i think my whole point is like just raising awareness and education on what it can look like and you guys have seen snow in a lot of different videos i know there's people that have been like saying that she was autistic from when she was a baby a lot of people are like oh there's nothing wrong with her like, she's totally fine and she she can be totally fine in a lot of instances or in a lot of different interactions, but it's like this, you know, or like this, and then you never really know what to expect, at least with her. So it can be challenging, but autism doesn't look like anything, right? What does it look like? Well, it doesn't look like anything. It doesn't look like what you think it looks like. Those are just certain people that you guys are very obvious, you know, like when you see them, but there's also people that have it that aren't obvious at all. And you might not think like anything is wrong with them until something happens like a birthday party or a loud noise or even just any noise. And it's really hard to recognize because sometimes certain things don't bother her at all. And then those same certain things can bother her at a different time, but it's only because her 
her nervous system has been dysregulated somehow during the day and so certain things she's going to, are going to affect her more on that day than it would a different day and so it's very hard to understand it's hard to you know know all the different things but i think the biggest thing that i get upset at or that like i think bothers me and it's not so much that it bothers me it bothers me for snow growing up in a world like this where people are so uneducated about this that they think like oh there's nothing wrong with her you guys just like to like put labels on your kids and everyone wants to label their kid with something these days to like give them an excuse to act out or be bad and it's like oh those when i see those comments i just think like man how ignorant like some people are how hurtful some people can be whether they know it or not but also just we really 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 need to educate those people and maybe you're friends with somebody like that or you know you're someone like that and I think that there's a lot of reasons why we're maybe seeing an uptick in uh, autoimmune dis diseases and autism and you know all kinds of things that like maybe we didn't have a, a lot of a long time ago but now we are seeing way more of today and there's so many factors I think that play into that if you just look at like food and the ingredients uh, on the back of food from when we were kids compared to our kids now there's like 10, 12 more ingredients in like those same foods. And so the chemicals are different. A lot of environmental factors. Oh, the kids are home now, shoot. I just wanna say hi to them actually, hold on. Hi. hi, no, it's okay, come on in. You guys, look, look at this cool light. Do you see the cool light mom put? Isn't that neat? Yeah, did you guys wash your hands when you left the playground? Yeah, oh, good, come here. Hi, you guys wanna say hi to my friends? Yeah. Hi, friends. Snow, you wanna come say hi? Hi. Yeah. Hi. I was telling them that we're gonna do a little. Um, Got a cool bucket. Yeah. I was telling them about uh, you being brave to have a birthday, a little birthday party again. Yeah. Right? Because when you were little, like a little, you were a little shy maybe and a little scared and it bothered you, but now you wanna do it again and have decorations? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Oh, don't touch it though, okay? Because it couldn't electrocute you. You don't want to touch light socks. Hey, baby, can you take your shoes off and put them by the front door for Mama? We don't want to bring germs into the house. Let's take our shoes off over by the front door and put them in our little shoes. Thank you. Oh, honey. You're being so good, sweetheart. Listening and following directions. Thank you. Good Mommy, we're over having so much fun on our playground. I am so happy to hear that. Can you pick those up with, with me? And we're going to go put them in the... And where the Mommy. shoes go? Come here, baby. Help me. Mm. Oh, my back hurts so bad. Do you think you can help me pick up these shoes? I can't get them. Oh, my back. Here, help me. You, you can help? Oh, you can't? Okay, oh, I guess I'll have to do it by myself. I'm just faking it. I was just kidding. But I'll put it in this time. And then next time when you come in the door, I want you to put it in like a, cause you're a big boy. And so you need to teach, you need to teach Ellie how to do it, right? Anyway, those things are awesome. So, all right, I'm gonna put in a video of what it looked like when snow was four and just with our family decided to have a little birthday party for her. Look. Oh, wow. Isn't that so cool? Happy birthday. You want you want to put the candles on? <gasps> oh no! Nope. Okay. Happy birthday, Snow! Do some work. Don't you get out of One more. It. Happy Woo! birthday, Snow! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday, honey! No. Happy birthday! When I started singing "Happy Birthday," she like started shaking and like you know grabbed on me really tightly. I was like terrified, did not like it, did not want people singing her happy birthday. I don't know what had happened or occurred. I still don't really know other than I think it was just too much for her. And so for her fifth birthday, we realized, okay, we're not gonna do that again. 
until you know maybe she changes her mind or whatever so we did like a very mellow little birthday for snow she loved it had so much fun we did special stuff for her just like as a family and like with my mom but this year i talked to her and had said you know she's older she's able to communicate a little bit better and the thing with snow is like sometimes she communicates perfectly really well maybe even more than like someone her age and then there's other times where she just cannot communicate at all. It's almost as if like, it's a different little girl. She just like shuts out or shuts down completely and cannot communicate. And so it's really hard sometimes at different stages to communicate with her. But I was able to talk to her about this year and her birthday and what she wanted to do. And she told me she thought that it would be fun to have, you know, these sisters over there our neighbor friends, uh, the girls. And so she wanted them to come over and she wanted cousins this year, but unfortunately they couldn't come because you know they live in Colorado and California, but she was okay with having some people that aren't family. So we're gonna do it and see how she does. But that's why we don't do birthday parties for her. And you know, we tried in the past, it didn't go very well. So we're gonna try again this year only because she has verbally told us that she is brave that's what she said i'm brave now i'm older i'm brave now i won't be shy this time so i don't know if she like really wants to do it but like when it actually happens like, she just can't handle it or like something gets triggered for her or if it just depends on like her mood that day and how she's like how regulated again she is but this is not like your typical kid who's just like shy you know at their birthday or quiet she has like a physiological neurological response to certain certain things noises you put headphones on her and like so it's a whole a whole thing but i just wanted to tell you guys about that and what you guys didn't see in that video was like the hour or two of me trying to calm her down and just like regulate her because she was so dysregulated from that little instance and like very you know upset so and again, wasn't able to communicate or tell me like why or anything like that. So it's tricky, you know, it's challenging. And my job as her mom is just to like, make sure that she's safe, happy and healthy, right? And I just wanna give her the best life that I can with the circumstances that we have. And that's what I am working on. So each day, each month, each year, it's like, you know, new things and stuff's changing and we're just rolling with the punches and i am very excited to be able to this year she agreed to do decorations and like you know have a small group of people over and by small group i mean like literally the neighbor's kids and like the neighbor and then us and then you know my mom and jim should be back in town so i i don't know they get in the day before her birthday so i'm not sure if like they're gonna be up for celebrating and if not we could just celebrate with them a different day but I'm really excited. So I will definitely be filming this birthday and me decorating for her birthday and me making her cake. I'm gonna make her a special cake. The decorations you guys saw earlier and then let's see what else. Uh, yeah, and then just like how she does with everything. So I'm excited and I have been praying every night to Yah, Yahweh and saying, you know, like, please give me the strength and the guidance, patience to do whatever is best for her and I'm praying just for her to be able to enjoy her birthday right like that's what I want for her they're playing in the bath the door shut they can't hear me but you guys can probably hear them in the background but anyway so that is something I wanted to share with you guys again mainly for awareness and education so that if you were ever to see that or see kids acting like that instead of like judging them or judging the parents you, you really never know what is someone's situation and so you know, i was at the store one time and i remember someone saying you know like storm i think was having like a whole meltdown and i remember someone saying like uh, mom you need to like control that kid or you know, whatever and i was just like so angry because again and it's not their fault they don't know any better clearly they think like the kids just acting out and that the parents aren't disciplining them and unfortunately like, when you have special needs kids if they don't look special needs people just think they're like spoiled brats you know but that's like looking at someone and saying they don't look like they have depression you know like you didn't look at like robin williams and like these funny people that were so depressed because it's an internal thing and like ended up you know, unaliving themselves like 
depression doesn't look a certain way. Like someone with anxiety, we don't always see that, right? You can't see that in people. And then same thing with special needs. You don't always see it. And so I guess what I'm trying to get at is like, just be nice to people and don't be so judgmental and definitely don't say mean things about other people's kids, whether they have special needs or not. Just don't. If anything, go help that mom or that dad because they that's they could use the help right let's just be kinder to one another and remember to to know that just because it doesn't look like someone is struggling or, or going through something doesn't mean that they're not i think that's like my main thing and that when they are that you do see them struggling to be there to help them or support them in any way that you can but most of all just to not judge and be mean to them I think as a mom, like, that's what I want to leave behind. I want to leave behind a world for my kids where people are just kind and not so judgmental, especially for the ones that are super sensitive like them. So that hopefully explains why we don't do birthday parties for her. Again, things change. So I'm, I'm very excited this year, but I will keep you guys posted and I will definitely film her birthday and be setting up for it and how she does. I'll keep you guys posted, but thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.